Okay, let's have a quick talk about problem statements. Now, problem statements aren't a big part of our study, but I have noticed that they come up a bit in the exam. So, the reason that you need to know about a problem statement is that it is the first thing that you do in your software development process far before you're writing your SRS, or your Software Requirement Specification. So, this is a concise statement of the issue or challenge that needs addressing through this software that you're going to build, or perhaps update. And it briefly uh, explains the scope and the context, and it helps the stakeholders, and the stakeholders are maybe the people who are paying for it, or the people who are using it, um, or the people it affects. Um, it helps them understand what it is that you're doing. And once you've got that clear statement, then you're probably in a position to build your SRS. Tricks here is describing what the problem is that you want to solve, rather than just jumping straight into what you want the solution to be. So for instance, if I think of my own share trading game, McBuckle, I might think the problem is that I want a share trading game. But in actual fact, the problem is I want students to understand and have a deep understanding of how a stock market works in practice. And there might be a whole bunch of different ways to achieve that. But rather than just jumping straight into solution mode, when you have um, defined the problem, you might find that there are different ways to solve this problem rather than what you think you need to build. Likewise, with Penguin Man, I might say, well, I want a hangman style game, which is in truth how I came about it. But the problem is that I wanted students to interact with vocabulary in a way that they would have repeated exposure to it. So that's my problem statement. You move from your problem statement into then say, well, what's the best solution for this problem? It doesn't have to be very complicated at all, but it is certainly something that you would have clear and straight before you jumped into all the detail and work of doing an SRS.